Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. I, again, I apologize for not having a video up last week. Last week just wasn't a great personal week, so um, I just couldn't be in front of the camera. But I'm a little better now, so hopefully I will be able to get out videos to you every week from now on. Um, so yeah, because I do love this channel and I do love being in front of everyone, so um, for this week's topic is about binders and any tips with that. Uh, personally, I haven't tried too many binders. Um, my first and only one right now is by GC2B and so far it's pretty it's pretty great. Um, this is a Hamney down from one of my friends because he's an awesome guy. Uh, this is the opposite, which is why I can't see. So this I he gave me his half top. And as you can see it's like a in a way it's like a, a how do I describe the material? It's like a sort of like an under armor feel, like an under armor shirt feel. And then in and then inside it's like a black cover slip. It's like a cloth cover slip, so it helps bind. Um, so far it's been re it works really well. Um, it even works well because this is a size um, this is a size more than what I should should be wearing. And overall, it's really comfortable. Um, I haven't. The only problem that I've had with it is it rides up a lot because, again, it is a, it is a sort of like a half. So um, definitely, my next binder will be probably by GC2B, but the full length tank because I heard that it uh, rides up less, especially since you can tuck it into your pants and wear a belt so it sort of holds it in place which is great and it helps um, and I also heard that the full length binders usually help um, sort of slim you down and I sort of need help in that area <laughs> so yeah so the next time I'll probably get the full length but the half is pretty good too if you don't mind having to constantly bring it down um, so basically, I guess I'll show you how well it works like before and after. Um, right now, since I'm not wearing it, this is how it generally looks. And you can tell it's really good because as you can see, I am a larger chested guy. So, but it flans really well. So that was before and, okay, and back. And now it's after. So you can see it's it it does its job. I mean I, I pretty much I think it would flatten more if I actually got my true size, but for being a size bigger, it actually flattens more than I thought it would. And um it's way more comfortable. I mean I can breathe while I wear this. Um, which is important, especially in hot weather. <laughs> um, but uh yeah, definitely. Uh it does, you know, it, it does its job, and it diminishes very well, especially since I'm larger chested than um, some others. Um, I guess the only tips I've had, um, if you don't have a binder, is what I used to do, um especially now you can do it because it's the weather is starting to change or at least over here it's starting to slowly change it's getting a lot cooler so as fall and winter come um, it's easier because you can wear layers layering is a huge <laughs> makes a huge change even with a binder like 
some because most of the time binders will not 100% make you look how you how you fully see like give it the full flat effect so layering will definitely help you you do not have to go a size smaller than what you usually do please do not do that that's not safe binding that is from what they say that is the equivalent of probably ace band it, using ace bandages because it is so tight and you're unable to breathe and especially since you want the full lasting of your binder like you want to be able to walk around for at least eight hours in it but if it's tighter then you may not be able to last that long and that's another thing please only eight hours um I am guilty and sometimes I do wear it longer than the eight and it does and I can feel the effects like it it messes with my back because I have slight back problems and stuff like that. So please wear it for only eight hours and get your right size in each of the um, each of the websites, whether it be GC2B or another popular one is Underworks. Um, before you purchase, they have a little description and they'll even, I, I believe there's a link where you can go and they will show you how to properly size yourself, like measure yourself. And if not, most of them, they have a contact information like their um, customer service and um, I believe they even have an email. And I've heard as if you email them or contact them through phone that they'll walk you through it. So walk it through it so then you can properly measure yourself and get the right size binder. Personally for me, um, if especially if you are a larger chested guy, I would go a size. I mean, you could do it like your correct size and see how it works for you. Maybe it works just fine, but I would go a I mean especially I don't especially if you have slight like me, slight back problems, to go a size bigger. Because, as you can see, it still does its effect of giving you that flat effect, but at the same time, it's easier to work with. It's not as... Um, it's not as physically taxing, I should say. It's, it's not as physically taxing as... Oh, as if you would get um, the size below, the right size. Sorry, sorry. Ah, brain fart for a minute. So yeah, um, so yeah, layering. Um, like, where a, a I heard that you wear your binder and then you put a tank top. And then you can wear a shirt on top of that tank top. And since it's cold, you wear a sweater on top of that. And depending on where you are, you can wear a jacket too. Us, it doesn't get that cold. So like a sweater, just a sweater will do. <laughs> and that should work. Um, it does, I mean, I've seen pictures and stuff and it does give you what you want. So those. Those are tips on what you can do until the wonderful day that we no longer need them. And yeah, so that's about it for that. Um, I do want to talk about <laughs> the wonderful company that um, I got this shirt from. And it says Black Trans Life Matter. Um, it's called... Sorry about that. For some reason, my camera just glitched on me. Anyways, the wonderful company that this shirt came from is called uh, Ways to Raise, and they are a great company that supports um, people within the trans and non-binary community. Um, for right now, they are doing a fundraiser in their Tumblr to support a fellow trans guy, Chase, uh, to get their top surgery. So if 
and they're giving a giveaway. Um, one is one BTL M shirt of your choice, one out of this binary shirt of your choice, one transition item such as a gaff or a binder of your choice. And there's two ways that you can enter it. You can go to the Tumblr and reblog the original post, which I will link it in the description. And you also get an additional entry if you donate five dollars to Chase's fundraiser. Fundraiser from um, now until September fourteenth. Sorry, I'm reading off their I'm reading off their page. <laughs> So you all get the right. I will give, um, I will give a link to their Tumblr. I will give a link to um, their shop. And and yeah. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I hope everyone continues to have a wonderful week. And I will see you next week.